book Muslims believe in is the book of Hadith. The saying of Muhammad. See, the Quran is the saying of Allah, the word of Allah, but the Hadith is the saying of Muhammad or the action of Muhammad, whatever Muhammad did. Years ago, they used to say, you cannot understand the Quran without the Hadith. Today in America, they say, we only believe in the Quran, we don't believe in the Hadith. Why is that? Because the Hadith teaches so much filth about Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam. We're going to cover some of it tonight. But Muslims believe in both books. Now, all what Muhammad wrote in the early 13 years, when he claimed to be a prophet in Mecca, we call it Mecca verses or Mecca chapters. And all what Muhammad wrote in Medina, we call it Medini verses or Medini chapters. Very important trick in Islam. When Muslim is weak in a land, when Muslim are minority in the land, they only quote you the early Mecca verses, which they know that Allah has abrogated. What is abrogation? Very important article. You can go and online and read it in our, in our website, or it's available on the front of the uh, Quran, or also in the new book. Abrogation is Allah changed his mind. All the verses which is written in Medina, if it teaches a message which is the opposite of Mecca, Muslims believe in the Medini verses, not in the Mecca verses. Because Allah changed his mind. Abrogation is like the word delete, like the word cancel. And it's amazing. Muslims still use in America the abrogated verses, the one which Allah does not want them to practice, because that is the technique to pretend to be the loving, peaceful ones. Listen to some of the final, final word of Allah, where Allah gave his revelation to Muhammad in Medina, in the city of Medina. That is the last nine years Muhammad lived there before he went back to Mecca. War is decreed to you, and it is hated by you. And perhaps you may hate something, and it is good for you. And perhaps you love something, and it is evil for you. And Allah knows, and you do not know. War is decreed for the Muslim. It's ordained for the Muslim. Do you know that Muslims are more decent than Allah and Muhammad? They hate to kill us. But Allah tells them in the Quran, perhaps you may hate something and it's good for you. Remember when your kids were sick and he gives them the medicine and you know the medicine tastes bad. And they say, well, it's good for you. Allah is telling Muslim, killing Christian and Jew is good for them. So they hate to kill us. That's one verse. Let's move on to another verse. That's a statement from the Hadith, the words of Muhammad. And it's amazing. Why in the world, 11 years after September 11, in this country, not one TV station have ever quoted the verses of Allah on their air or the verses or the saying of Muhammad? Why? Because they don't want you to know the truth about Islam. Because they want you to believe that Islam is just another wonderful religion. Listen to the words of Muhammad, the prophet of Islam himself. What did Muhammad say? Here we go, listen. I have been commanded to engage in war against people till they testify to the fact that there is no God but Allah and believe in me that I am the messenger and in all that I have brought. Is Muhammad the prophet of peace? He was commanded by Allah to kill you until you believe in him. Engage in war is the right word. Fight, you heard it and the audio is not right. Keep going. This is al tibri I love it when Muslims say, well, you are not a scholar, sir. You are not qualified to translate the Quran, to interpret the Quran. I said, I don't interpret, I just read. I'm just telling you what Allah said. And if you need an interpretation, I love al tibri I love Ibn Kasir, and Al-Qurtubi, and Al-Jalalain. All Muslim scholars are agree with me. Listen to al tibri What do you think al tibri the great Muslim scholar, think of you and your children in this country? Arabs are the most noble people in lineage, the most prominent, and the best in deeds. We were the first to respond to the call of the Prophet. We are Allah's helpers and the viziers of His Messenger. We engage in war with people until they believe in Allah. He who believes in Allah and His Messenger has protected his life and possessions from us. As for one who disbelieves, we will engage in war with him forever in the cause of Allah. Killing him is a small matter to us. We will engage in war with him for the cause of Allah, and killing him is a small matter to us. Do you want to protect your wife? Do you want to protect your children? Do you want to protect your business? Do you want to protect your money? Become a Muslim, because otherwise we're going to kill you. 
9.14, Allah in the Quran said, Engage in war with them. Allah will torment them by your hands and put them to shame and give you victory over them and heal the chest of a believing people. Who are them? Engage in war with them. Go read small, any scholar interpretation. All of them will tell you, them is non-Muslims, infidels, you. Allah will torment you by the hands of the Muslims. Who, by the way, hate to do it, but they do it for Allah because it's for good.